Welcome back to The Big Sweep. Today I'm excited to share with you six hacks for cleaning up drywall dust after the reno. If you've recently completed a renovation, you know just how pesky drywall dust can be. It seems to get everywhere, right? Well, don't worry because I've got you covered. In this video, we're diving into the world of post-renovation cleanup. Specifically, we'll be focusing on that fine, powdery drywall dust that seems to linger no matter how much you clean. It's not only annoying, but can also be harmful if not dealt with properly. But fear not, because today I'm going to share with you six amazing hacks to tackle this issue head on. From using specialized tools to simple household items, these tips will help you get your space back to its pristine condition in no time. So let's get started and make your home sparkle again. The first hack to effectively clean up drywall dust is to use a vacuum with a HEPA filter. This is not just any ordinary vacuum cleaner. It's specifically designed to handle fine particles that other vacuums might miss. HEPA stands for High Efficiency Particulate Air, and these filters are designed to capture even the tiniest particles. They're incredibly efficient and can trap particles as small as 0.3 microns, which is much smaller than what standard filters can handle. Regular vacuums might not cut it because drywall dust is incredibly fine and can easily pass through standard filters, only to be expelled back into the air. This can make your cleaning efforts futile and even worsen the air quality in your home. When you use a vacuum with a HEPA filter, you ensure that the dust is trapped inside the vacuum and not recirculated into your living space. This is crucial for maintaining a clean and healthy environment, especially after a renovation or construction project. This is especially important if you or anyone in your household suffers from allergies or respiratory issues. Dust particles can trigger allergic reactions and exacerbate conditions like asthma, making it essential to use a vacuum that can effectively capture these irritants. The HEPA filter will capture those microscopic particles that can cause irritation and discomfort. It's not just about visible dust, it's about the tiny particles that you can't see but can still affect your health. Make sure to vacuum all surfaces, including floors, walls, and even ceilings if needed. Drywall dust can settle anywhere, so it's important to be thorough in your cleaning efforts. Don't forget to get into corners and other hard-to-reach areas where dust can accumulate. Remember to empty the vacuum's bag or canister frequently to maintain its efficiency. A full bag or canister can reduce the vacuum's suction power, making it less effective at capturing dust. A clean filter means better performance and a dust-free environment. Regularly check and replace the HEPA filter as needed to ensure your vacuum continues to operate at its best. This simple maintenance step can make a big difference in the air quality of your home. By using a vacuum with a HEPA filter, you're taking a proactive step towards a cleaner, healthier living space. It's a small investment that can have a significant impact on your home's air quality and your overall well-being. Imagine a home where you can breathe easy, free from the worry of lingering dust particles. That's the peace of mind a HEPA filter vacuum can provide. So, next time you're tackling drywall dust, make sure you're equipped with the right tools for the job. Our second hack involves using a damp cloth or mop to clean up drywall dust. Dry dusting can actually make things worse by spreading the dust around instead of picking it up. A damp cloth or mop, on the other hand, will trap the dust and prevent it from becoming airborne. Start by lightly dampening your cloth or mop with water. You don't want it to be soaking wet, just enough to catch the dust. Wipe down all surfaces, including countertops, windowsills, and any other areas where dust has settled. For floors, a damp mop works wonders. It's a simple yet effective way to gather up that fine dust without scattering it. One thing to keep in mind is to rinse your cloth or mop frequently. This prevents the dust from being redeposited onto surfaces. If the water gets too dirty, change it out for clean water to ensure you're not just moving dust around. Hack number three is all about improving the air quality in your home by using an air purifier. This simple device can make a world of difference, especially after a renovation. After a renovation, drywall dust can linger in the air, making it difficult to breathe and settle on surfaces you've just cleaned. This dust isn't just a nuisance, it can also be harmful to your health, causing respiratory issues and allergies. An air purifier with a HEPA filter can help remove those airborne particles and keep your air fresh and clean. HEPA filters are designed to capture 99.97% of particles that are 0.3 microns or larger, which includes most dust, pollen, and even some bacteria. Place the air purifier in the room where the renovation took place or in central areas of your home. 
This ensures that the air in the most affected areas is being cleaned first, providing you with immediate relief from dust and allergens. Let it run for several hours or even days, depending on the level of dust. The longer it runs, the more effective it will be at removing particles from the air. You might even notice a significant difference in just a few hours. The HEPA filter in the purifier will capture the tiniest dust particles, reducing the amount that settles on your surfaces. This means less cleaning for you and a more comfortable living environment. Air purifiers are especially helpful if you have pets or small children, as they can be more sensitive to dust and allergens. Pets can bring in additional allergens from outside, and children are more susceptible to respiratory issues. Not only will this hack help with drywall dust, but it will also improve the overall air quality in your home, making it a healthier place to live. Clean air can lead to better sleep, improved concentration, and overall better health for you and your family. So investing in a good air purifier is definitely worth it. Our fourth hack is more of a preventative measure, but it's incredibly effective, using plastic sheeting to contain dust. Dust can be a major nuisance during any renovation project, and it can spread quickly throughout your home if not properly contained. If you're about to start a renovation or are in the middle of one, this tip is for you. Whether you're knocking down walls, sanding, or doing any kind of demolition, dust is inevitable. But with a little preparation, you can keep it under control. By hanging plastic sheeting around the work area, you can significantly reduce the spread of drywall dust to other parts of your home. This is especially important if you have an open floor plan or if the work area is near high traffic zones. You can purchase plastic sheeting from any hardware store. It comes in various sizes and thicknesses, so you can choose the one that best suits your needs. Some stores even offer pre-cut sheets for added convenience. It's affordable and easy to install. Simply measure the area you need to cover, cut the plastic sheeting to size, and hang it up. You don't need any special tools or skills to do this, making it a great DIY project. Simply hang it from the ceiling to the floor, creating a barrier between the renovation area and the rest of your home. This barrier will trap the dust and prevent it from spreading, making your cleanup job much easier. Make sure to seal any gaps or openings with painter's tape to ensure no dust escapes. Pay special attention to corners and edges, as these are common areas where dust can sneak through. This hack not only makes the final cleanup easier, but also protects your furniture and other belongings from getting coated in dust. You can even use plastic sheeting to cover large pieces of furniture or other items that can't be moved out of the work area. It's a small investment of time and money that pays off big in terms of keeping your home clean and dust-free. So next time you're planning a renovation, don't forget to pick up some plastic sheeting. Your future self will thank you for it when you see how much cleaner your home stays throughout the process. For the fifth hack, we're going to focus on the final touches using a tack cloth. A tack cloth is a sticky cheesecloth-like material that's perfect for picking up the last bits of fine dust. It's commonly used in woodworking and painting, but it's also excellent for cleaning up drywall dust. You can find tack cloths at most hardware or home improvement stores. They come pre-treated with a sticky substance that grabs onto dust and debris. Use the tack cloth to wipe down surfaces like countertops, shelves, and even walls. It's especially useful for areas that might have missed during the initial cleanup. One of the great things about tack cloths is that they don't leave any residue behind. They're designed to pick up dust without transferring any sticky material to your surfaces. It's a quick and efficient way to ensure that every last bit of drywall dust is gone, leaving your home spotless. Our final hack emphasizes the importance of regular maintenance and cleaning. Even after you've done a thorough job of cleaning up drywall dust, it's essential to keep up with regular cleaning to ensure your home stays dust-free. This means incorporating some of the tips we've discussed into your regular cleaning routine. For example, continue to use a vacuum with a HEPA filter for your weekly vacuuming sessions. This will help capture any residual dust that might have settled. Similarly, using a damp cloth or mop for your regular dusting will prevent dust from becoming airborne again. Consider running your air purifier periodically, especially if you notice any lingering dust or if you have allergies. Regularly check and replace the filters in your vacuum and air purifier to maintain their effectiveness. By staying on top of your cleaning routine, you can ensure that your home remains a healthy and comfortable environment for you and your family. And now, you have six amazing hacks to help you clean up drywall dust after your renovation. Let's quickly recap. 
We talked about using a vacuum with a HEPA filter, a damp cloth or mop, an air purifier, plastic sheeting to contain dust, a tack cloth for final touches, and the importance of regular maintenance and cleaning. Each of these tips plays a crucial role in ensuring your home stays dust-free and healthy. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might benefit from it. Also, leave a comment below if you have any additional tips or if you've tried any of these hacks yourself. I'd love to hear your experiences. Thank you so much for watching and for your continued support. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more helpful tips and tricks. Until next time, happy cleaning.